How you doing today? Hope you had a great weekend and a great 4th of July holiday. I didn't really have any great cases to put together for you this week, so I decided to spend just a few minutes talking to you about Venus hemodynamics. This is one of my favorite subjects. Hope you enjoy. Some time ago, I was asked the question, are we oblivious about Venus hemodynamics? And of course, this is in the context of performing a duplex ultrasound on a patient suffering from chronic venous insufficiency. So I've given this question a lot of thought, and I would like to share some of these thoughts with you. So as mentioned, I thought a lot about this topic and did a fair amount of research and unequivocally, the answer is yes, we are oblivious. Thank you very much. Okay, I was being a bit facetious with that comment, but let me give you a little background to reinforce that. I think there's a universal recognition that the hemodynamics of the venous system and now how it actually accomplishes its job of returning blood to the heart is not fully understood. Now, of course, venous duplex is the gold standard for assessment of venous system function. However, it's somewhat limited in its ability and accuracy in identifying and detecting flow abnormalities in very small veins, and in fact, where a lot of the blood in the venous system resides. And so therefore, much of the system's hemodynamics are really unavailable for interrogation by duplex. Of course, one of the things we look for with a duplex ultrasound is reflux within a vein or a vein segment. However, we utilize reflux provoking maneuvers that really don't realistically simulate the physiologic pattern of venous blood flow in a vein segment, let alone the system as a whole. And it's very important to understand that we simply use reflux within a vein as a surrogate for venous system dysfunction. Consider, for example, this patient with C4 disease. A patient does not get disease of this severity by reflux within a vein. This is caused by venous system dysfunction. Well, if we look at the physiology of the venous circulation, I'm going to give you a very simplistic view of that. From a big picture, we can say, well, its job is to return blood to the heart. In order to do that, effective venous return requires the central pump or the heart, a pressure gradient, which of course is necessary for any fluid movement. We need a peripheral venous pump as well as competent venous valves and an appreciation of the relationship between the volume and pressure is essential to understanding both normal and pathologic function of the venous system. Again, I'd like to reiterate that this is a very simplistic view. We actually have a number of great talks on venous hemodynamics at Virtual Vein Center. So if you're interested in learning more or you need to earn some Category 1 credit, please visit. Thanks so much. You know what to do. Like, subscribe. We appreciate it.